Agricultural Commodity Trade or IAC project has been assisting agro, forestry, livestock and aqua-based enterprises throughout the Pacific region to become export-oriented businesses. Through the support of the European Union which funds the program, IACT has a team of highly specialized experts who are part of the project implemented by the Land Resources Division of the Secretariat of the Pacific Community, SPC. These experts have empowered 42 businesses in 15 Pacific Island countries to reach markets outside the region with a range of high quality products for export. SPC has been running the program uh, for us. So the expertise that, uh, that has been provided has really, I think, helped the entrepreneurs to, to achieve what they, what, what they really set out to do. Uh, I think we've been surprised about the success of the program, but I think that goes to show that there is a real entrepreneurship in the Pacific countries, but very often you just need to, let's say, exploit the opportunities that are there. We are working with, uh, as I said, with government, with the uh, private sector, and also with the foreign missions, identifying the market and also the trade offices uh, overseas. So it's really successful, and uh, we measure our success by our performance indicators that we have. You know, the number of products going overseas, the market access impediments that we have resolved, as well as trying to put in place, you know, uh, certain uh, trade standardization like HACCP, uh, organic, fair trade. To get Pacific products export ready, IACT has helped businesses attain organic or FSC certification, provided product marketing assistance, technical expertise in farm management, or even funded businesses with specialized equipment to essentially help them break through into markets abroad as recognized Pacific made brands. Fiji Television's popular regional business show, Talk Business, formed a partnership with the European Union and IACT in 2013 to begin promoting the work of the project through the success of its enterprises. What Talk Business soon realized was that not only were the 42 businesses across the Pacific on the receiving end through IX assistance and had also become export oriented, but the many communities these businesses worked with were also benefiting through mutual collaboration. EU Assistance has done a lot to me because uh, it provides a net, it provides a feed, it provides an incubating system. And really, that really helped me, you know, at, at, at least in the long run, my fa families can be benefited from what actually is happening. You know, I just uh, had a support from the EU, which is very good. They did a lot to me. With the financial assistance and the technical assistance, we've been able to develop a business that uh, is sustainable, profitable, and uh, is a business that I hope will become uh, something that people will look at. In essence, IX assistance has had a multiplier effect on the enterprises, families, communities, agricultural sector and on the whole, the 15 Pacific Island countries. Thank you to the SBC and thank you to the EU. But what this has done is it's enabled us to, to improve our, flow, our product flows and have more efficiency when, when processing. With the assistance of IX, uh, we can take our vanilla uh, further to a new level, uh, like uh, improving the capacity of the private sector uh, to export and uh, increase their competitiveness and also take their product to, to the international market. So the, the support of IEC is very vital. So much so that it has had a positive impact on the GDP of some island countries, like Samoa where IX assistance to women in businesses Virgin Coconut Oil project contributed 1% to the country's overall GDP through exports. Now through promotion of IX activities on talk business, viewers from Fiji and the region and even those across various continents have been inspired to take up entrepreneurship and venture out into agribusinesses. Those like Pyrus Mukasa, who watched several of our episodes, 
all the way from Uganda and was inspired by the work of these enterprises. Or those like Sue Kim, who watched the episode on coffee farming in the Solomon Islands and traveled all the way from South Korea to Fiji to get the enterprise's contact so she could import coffee beans from the Solomon Islands into Korea. Pacific Islanders from around the region have in fact gained valuable insight and awareness on agricultural farming, which in turn has achieved the overall objectives of the project. The partnership between the European Union, IAT and Fiji Television has been exciting and adventurous to say the least. We have been driving for at least an hour and a half now up to the highlands of Guadalcanal and as you can see it is a very bumpy ride and the roads here are, are not even tasseled so of course it's gravel roads and, and villagers have to make their way up and down these roads every day to the markets to sell their produce. For coffee farmers it's a lot more tricky because they have to transport bags at least 50 kg bags of coffee beans and we're not looking at just two or three bags these are like 10 to 12 bags every day down to the market for export just just imagine how difficult it can be especially during the rainy season to make your way down to the market now after a two-hour scenic drive into the Sogera area we then continue our journey with a 30-minute boat ride over the river that leads to the dam now this is where we'll meet villagers that farm tilapia through a unique pan culture process. Now just so you know, this river here is infested with freshwater crocodiles. Not that I'm worried or anything, okay, maybe just a little. But anyway, this is a unique farming process where farmers work very closely with officials from the European Union funded IAC project as well as officials from PNG's fisheries department. Whether it was hiking up rugged terrains in Guadalcanal to tell the story of coffee farmers or navigating crocodile infested waters of the Sirinumu Dam to feature the success of caged tilapia farming or traveling to remote islands in PNG to feature villagers engaged in copra farming or even profiling young people committed to yam farming for exports. It has been an holistic celebration of entrepreneurship, agriculture, economic empowerment and growth of our Pacific community.